Okay, Ivan, are you ready to begin today's session? Yep. What are we going over today? Well, we're going to be going over the usual topic, but I want you to start from the beginning. The beginning? Yes. Yes, before everything happened, back to when you were a kid. I didn't have that many friends as a kid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. It was me and John most of the time. Just kept to ourselves unless we were together. Okay, tell me about the day of John's birthday party. It was a pretty normal day. We were playing a new video game that he just got. Hanging out with his family. I'd been sleeping on the couch until his dad came in and woke me up. He asked me to sit next to him, so I did. I had no idea what we were doing. I turned on the radio and the song came in. I'll never forget that night. What do you constantly keep writing in that fucking notebook of yours? You think I'm crazy? Ivan, I do not think you're crazy. I'm just taking notes for your file. Now, could you just tell me how everything was after that night? Moved in with my aunt and uncle. They lived in a different city. It was the best way I could get away. I was only 14 and about to start high school in a few weeks. So did that help, moving to your aunt and uncle's house? Never even got to start school there. My aunt and uncle came home after two weeks. Told me that my aunt had cancer. What did you do? I had to leave. I was a burden on them. I had to go back home and finish school there. Yeah. How did that go? I didn't get into college. My grades suffered. Weren't ever good enough. What do you expect? I couldn't concentrate there. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about the night of the last incident. What happened the night of the last incident? You know what happened. Everyone knows what happened. And you keep copying everything down your little notebook. Why are we going over this? This doesn't help me. This just brings back bad memories. Ivan, we have to talk about this so that you can understand yourself and why it happened. Understand myself? I don't understand why it happened. Why did this happen to me? We should go over that. I was having a terrible day at work. Why were you having a bad day? Hell if I know. I always seemed like I was in a bad mood. I just didn't want to work at that shitty bar. Okay, so what happened the rest of the day? God damn it, you know what happened! I got stuck late at work. I was waiting for these customers to finish up and leave. Hey, can you go check on that table? I'm ready to get out of here. Alright. people coming in right before we close. Right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah, just the check. Okay, great. Get that right out for you. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyways, how many classes you got tomorrow? Three, but I don't care. 
cow. I go up. Right. I'm probably just gonna go to the gym in the morning instead of my sociology class. Well, now I'm gonna have to like watch my favorite show tomorrow because I'm missing it because some people are taking forever. <laughs> <sighs> There you go. Anything else I can do for you guys tonight? Um, how about better customer service next time? Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> well, you guys have a good night. You Thanks too. so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Take it from here? Yeah, I got it. Alright, cool. Hey, two more nights and uh, it's the weekend. Yeah. So you just left right after the other employee? Yeah, I didn't want to be there any longer. I could care less if that place was clean or not. Hell, I left dirty dishes out. Okay, Ivan. That was your day at work. What happened after that? Damn it, you know what happened. You've been writing in that notebook. Ivan, just continue. It'll help. I locked the doors to that hellhole and started walking down the street towards my house. Then I heard that damn music. I heard that shit all the time, but this time it was real. It was coming from down the street and I started losing it. Why'd you do it? I beat him so that music would never start again. And I beat him so all the anger left my body for the first time and I felt happy. No, no, look at me. I stood over that body and for the first time in my life felt satisfied. So why don't you write that in your fucking notebook? <laughs> <laughs>